Hello, my name is Dorit Beulerehauge, and I'm very pleased to be with you in order to share my thoughts on century branding online and offline. The agenda is the platform challenge, century perspectives unfolded, and century engagement. Today we see a lot of uh, digital insecurity, so we have a platform challenge. All brands want customer engagement and that's difficult to get. We can start by practicing online thinking. That means that brands must regard all platforms as part of a whole, encourage dialogue and interaction, and invite customer into brand, uh, the brand universe by appealing to their senses. You may say that brands are traveling because of the multiple platforms, so they are really on a journey. And what they must try to do is create cohesive and comprehensive strategy. They do that by paying attention to platform convergence and try to cre create thematic framing. If, for example, you produce bags and suitcases, you may create thematic framing by, by using a, th a theme of uh, traveling. Uh, and you can also make framing by means of public events, sports events, royal weddings, so that you create a common citizenship with your customers and your followers. You must also, as a brand, pay attention to online and offline convergence, and that is primarily in connection with the retail space, but also other public events. We must remember that customers are people and people experience. I have divided experience into two levels. The first is the instant level where you experience by means of your senses and that is quite fast. Uh, whereas the second, the value level, is more a process where customers experience and confirm their lifestyles. Their, um, meanings, their opinions, and uh, the way they, um, they evaluate different things. So that's a process and that's where you want as a brand to open up and create space for your followers and uh, the people interested in your brand. If we go a little bit closer to sensory perspectives, we can see for example the music industry. Music used to be a monosense uh, experience and has developed into a being a multi-sensory experience where you, you watch music and you experience art, uh, lifestyle, trends, etc. etc. The same is happening now in the, the fashion film where we see uh, fashion films uh, coming out in increasing numbers and we're just starting also to develop the retail space experience. In order to be more precise and guiding brands into the development, uh, the sensory of, of sensory engagement, I have divided the work into four dimensions where brands must be active and specific. Uh, the first dimension is the sensory where you experience by means of your senses. If the brand is successful and aesthetic, it may develop into the emotional dimension where you work with moods and uh, feelings and you get more appealings and by that remains with your, remain with your followers and your customers. But you need to be specific and develop this as part of your strategy. The next dimensions are co-creative, the co-creative dimension where you invite users into, uh, onto your platform in order to participate in the creation of the brand because brand um, development is not only within the company, it's much more with the followers and the users because that's where the brand really lives, it's uh, true life you may say. 
Also, the community dimension is very important, where you encourage customer to customer sharing. Uh, you could do that online, but you could also do that uh, by means of events. If we have a look at the platforms, um, we can start with a sensory website. It's important to be as sensory as possible right from the beginning, from the home page. Um, a good example of, of that is um, when you see brands using film or blogs on uh, the home page. Uh, but you need also to allow space for elaboration of uh, the reflective level and more details later on on your website. You see good examples of that with the sock producers, Democratic Socks, uh, where users uh, design their own socks and you can see them online. And also Brooks England, the saddle producer, is uh, very centrally on their website with film and uh, um, explaining and inviting into different events. The social media are the hub of attention uh, these years, but, but very often uh, there is a lot of buzz and very little precise advice to brands. What should they do? Facebook is a personal uh, place. It's a place where you need to create dialogue and be as personal as you can, in a sense that you, uh, you get most likings by posting something which has to do with, for example, anniversaries, celebrations, social courses, or uh, maybe something uh, that, like children that can involve um, users also emotionally. So it's not about pushing sales and, and, um, and uh, promoting uh, styles, it's more about engaging um, and allowing space for your followers. The co-creative dimension and the community dimensions are very important on Facebook. You must understand as a brand that branding on social media is not about the brand, it's about the users and you need to invite users in and create space for them in order to, to uh, be selected in their personal project. Other social medias are um, Pinterest and Instagram and you, they're quite similar but if we take Pinterest, pin is pin to be visible. It's again a personal project uh, that they have and brands are selected on the basis of their visual appeal. You can create themes and be more visible um, by, as a brand, but otherwise it's quality uh, in each and every uh, pinnings or photos that you, you upload for use on, on Pinterest. Instagram is, as I said, instant. You follow, um, you follow the uh, Instagrammers, you see the world through their eyes, uh, and by that the followers get a feeling that they're closer to the Instagrammer and also to the brand. The retail experience is the offline, online uh, division that we most often cross. And here you must, as a brand, be very aware of the uh, instant level, the atmosphere, the greetings, the temperature, all the basic things of uh, what, what you find in a shop. But try to be as authentic as you can, or you need to be 100% authentic naturally, but also to create an experience that will stay with the visitor because you're working uh, at the reflective level. The brand values are experienced in the retail space and um, one place where you see that carried out uh, very well is uh, the Mulberry shop in uh, Bond Street where you see craftsmanship, paying attention to nature, history, etc., etc., all melting into one experience and allowing place and space for the visitors, um, not pushing sales. That's a long-term um, investment. The brand on film 
uh, the new place or the newer place to be. I have divided uh, the film genre into 11 different categories, but I share only four of them here with you today. But again, it's important to be precise. What is it that you want? Do you want to pre create a mood by displaying a lifestyle? Do you want to display brand essence in an animation? Art? or being emotional by means of using art, or maybe more technical, uh, you can uh, produce an interactive uh, video where users can co-create and make their own video that which they will then share. So by means of the, the levels of experience and the dimensions, we have now reached a state where we have a new sensory. It's not about, for the brand, it's not about distance and unattainability. It's about proximity and uh, a short distance to the customer, inviting in, involving and opening up for, for customers to co-create and then share their personal experience. You create attractiveness by sharing perspectives and uh, experiences as a brand and the brand in this, um, in this uh, day and age is more a guide to, to seemingly unedited uh, pulse. Century engagement, which is name and difficult to reach, is reachable. <laughs> if you uh, construct, as a brand, you construct a stage for the customer to enter um, and being there, being there with the brand is a common stage uh, where you share values and beliefs and lifestyle with your customers. And it's not only attractive for the customer, but it reflects the customer. So that's a stage like the little uh, stage you see right next to me. When you practice all these things and are precise in your aims and in your, your strategy, um, you reach a state of brand elegance. By that I um, understand a result of synergy between online thinking and sensory dimensions. Uh, it's building engagement and it's um, enhancing also the brand, brand experience. And that's where we all want to go. Thank you very much for listening and for your attention.